here we go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Patrick, and some huge Call of Duty World War II news just dropped. Um, if you know me, I love Call of Duty, and it has got a sweet spot in my heart. And to see what happened today happen, I'm kind of upset, but it happens, and it has happened before. So we're just going to dive right into it. What happened was Michael Condry, Glenn Schofield, both left Sledgehammer Games. They're going back to uh, Activision or Activision's headquarters to uh, think about new game ideas and new games, work on different games. I, I that's, that's all I've got about really them and what happened to them. Uh, I don't know what games they'll be working on exactly or what they'll be doing back at Activision, but I'm guessing from what I've heard out on the Twitter sphere is new game ideas for Activision. Uh, along with that, we know that the new stu studio head will be Aaron Holland, who was actually the previous director of development of Call, Call of Duty World War II. Excuse me there. Um, so we do have a very good studio head coming up, but I don't know if I trust this guy. I've never even heard his name, honestly, until I saw it on Twitter. So I don't know if I can trust this guy. The reason this has me worried a lot when it comes to Call of Duty World War II, because of late... Sledgehammer Games has been very, very slow at updating their game. And now, this explains a lot, but there's still no excuse to not uh, put in simple patch updates, you know, things like that. It's not asking too much, and you have a whole studio that works on this game. So I think that there should be a little little more frequent updates, but that, that's just me. Um, now, this isn't the first time in Call of Duty that people have left the studio in the middle of a game, which is shocking but it actually has happened uh, in the Call of Duty series back in Modern Warfare 2 I was just a wee little lad um, and I, I really didn't play video games hello but I mean I knew what Modern Warfare 2 was uh, and back in Modern Warfare 2 sorry I got off topic but the original team that made Modern Warfare 2 uh, which is called Infinity Ward they left to form Respawn Entertainment which went on to make Titanfall which was supposed to be the Call of Duty killer after most of Infinity Ward's staff left to form Respawn, Activision was forced to kind of, you know, scramble, get a team together, which was really, really bad because they were literally having a game out on the market and at the same time developing one for 2011, which would be Modern Warfare 3. And to that, they never really updated Modern Warfare 2. That's why there's so many bugs still to this day. I mean... I know the Kimbo shotguns, uh, Kimbo sawed off, you can shoot someone across the map and immediately, I mean, one shot. And it's really sad, because I don't want what happened to Modern Warfare 2 to happen to Call of Duty World War 2. Just because I love the World War 2 era, and I'm so happy that they made another game after World at War. I mean, it took them, like, what, 10 years, but finally they did. And now, I, I really don't know, man. I haven't been playing much Call of Duty as of recently, just because it kind of felt stale and and now this just makes it a lot worse i don't know what's gonna happen but if you guys enjoyed hearing about this information please leave me a like or leave me a comment describing how this video made you feel if it made you feel like crap i'm sorry i really didn't mean to do that to you but as always guys i will see you in the next video have a great day peace